And a car rammed through a brick wall and hit a house. The man sleeping inside that home really is lucky to be alive. ABC 7's Dylan McKim is live in central El Paso to give us a closer look at the damage. Dylan. Eric, Stephanie, take a look at the damage to the roof of this house. That's where the car, the back end of the car, came to rest early this morning. Now, just below that and to the right, you see that piece of plywood. That's covering the window to the bedroom. That's where one man was sleeping this morning when he had to make a quick decision to save himself from harm. It's a thief. I've never seen something like that. A horrific crash. A car lying against the side of a home now. Alfonso Viagrana is cleaning up. Viagrana owns the house but does not live here. He rents the home to his friend who was sleeping inside when a car came barreling through his front yard. The person inside the house at the time was sleeping on this side of the bed. It's the furthest away from the window. Now, before they cleaned the bed spread off, it was covered in shattered glass all over the place, along with six of these rocks right here. It's about 10 pounds, and it came crashing through that window, landing all along the bed, on the pillows, on the bottom of the bed. But luckily, thanks to his quick actions here, he was able to save his own life. When he heard uh, the first noise on the rock wall, he wake up right away, and then he jumped to this side. Viagrana's friend escaping with no injuries. After I see everything, all the damage, I'm surprised that he's he's working now. He went, he wake up in the morning, and he went, he went to work. Bigger chunks of the wall went flying to the side of the house, damaging another part of the fence. A piece like this breaking off and being sent through the neighbor's window next door. By looking at the tire marks here, the car was traveling down Yandel when it took a left up into this house. Now this is a horrific crash, but after speaking with neighbors here, they tell me crashes on this street are not too rare. Both my neighbors that have had cars parked on the street have gotten hit. The other corner house has gotten hit, I think, twice. Taylor Delgado has lived here for two years. She says people drive recklessly down Yandel, where the speed limit in this area is only 35. The house across the street from Via Grana is also experiencing issues with drivers. Their house lined with tall palm trees. But after an out-of-control driver, one side is still trying to grow back. Neighbors do not know what is a good solution to the cars driving by. Via Grana had never thought of the problem until now. Yeah, I gonna think for the future because on the future, I think I think my daughter, she's going to live here. But until a solution comes, Viagrana is picking up the pieces. When neighbors came here to help out with the driver, they did, didn't find a driver inside. They had already fled the scene. Police have not announced any arrests yet. Reporting live in Central El Paso, Dylan McKim, ABC7. All right, Dylan, thank you for that perspective.